seu boss. What? You're awesome, guy. Oh, well, thank you. Oh. Maybe I'll give you a raise. A raise? Yeah. I gotta get paid to get a raise. <laughs> so, um, any advice to people out there that are doing this, that are just getting started, that you can think of since we're just playing around now? Well, I definitely want to say, Michelle, I hope you get motivated. I can tell you that a couple years ago when I was going out to help Carl, I was not as strong as I am now. So you do get stronger, you get quicker, you get more efficient. And not to say that it's always easy, I mean. No, there was definitely lots of growing pains. Um, the story is you don't give up. No yeah, matter don't how give up. It gets, you don't give up. Remember, it could always be worse. It could always be worse. That is one of our biggest mottos, and you know, even just... when I do whatever I did there. Oh my god! And probably a big bruise here. Yeah. So, and if I were to happen to fall out of the truck, it could get worse. Oh my god! Right? It could be worse. Good morning, boss. Good morning, employee. So it's Friday. Is it? Yes. Man, the week went by so fast. We're busy, right? Yeah. We've had a super busy week. Trying to battle rain yesterday. And it doesn't look too uh, good out there today. No. We're definitely battling rain today. On the bright side is we only have seven lawns to do. Now here's the thing, is it's also super wet still. Well, we have seven lawns. We could have 14, but I moved the schedule a little bit because we weren't. Right. To try to fit in other things, but it is super wet out there. But we finally went to Ace this morning. We had to get a new spade shovel, and we found the Echo Black Diamond. So we're going to give this black diamond trimmer line a well, try. I'm a little skeptical about it. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like, I like the still line. Yeah, Carl likes his bright orange line. I'd like to know who's beeping. I'll wait till, hey guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. So, so boss, what happened boss? I think that the employee You were so did it. eager to go to work that you broke the string off. You were you broke the string off. Did you not want me to help you mow? I want you to help me mow all the time. It's a big benefit. But you know what I gotta say? I'm gonna say something right now. This is by far, hold on before I open my big mouth. The easiest string I've ever had to replace. Really? Yeah, but, plus it's not the right string. It's, we need to go to Lowe's or something. Okay. Okay, let's see if I did Why? that. Why? Which string is that? Is that? That's the one that was on it, right? Yeah, it's the one that's on it, but it's way too short. That's why you're having a problem starting the mower. Right. When it gets, when the mower gets too warm, it doesn't want to start. <coughs> yeah. And that, and the fact that it probably has like, 900 hours on it. It's like your employee. He gets too warm, he doesn't want to start, right? <laughs> he wants to sit home. Clean up. Yes. <laughs> you don't think I have enough work, man? <laughs> but I can't complain, right? It's, it's a good problem to have. Wait. Does that make you happy, boss? That you got a huge giant cleanup that's. Well, 
We're gonna be eating good this one. <laughs> We're gonna be eating good this one. Not like the past winners, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, you know I did put it on backwards, right? It's so <laughs> Oh, it was supposed to be on that side. Oh, Carl. Oh, I didn't tie the night bait. It's not big enough. Like, oh, you know I did put it on backwards, right? It's so <laughs> that was supposed to be on that side. Oh, Carl. Oh, I didn't tie the night bait. It's not big enough, I guess. Really, man? Just Mo. We have to get these done before the rain comes. You need new string anyway, right? Yeah. So, as soon as we leave here, we'll get a string. Yeah, because you need to help me with the other one. Yeah. Can you put this Okay, I'll put it away. So what'd you bring me, employee? A bunch of gifts from a the bunch of post gifts. office. We have some payments in the post office. And some business cards. And I don't know if I told you guys right? this, but I was pretty embarrassed. I noticed that the cards that I had ordered um, had left out the S in Happy's Lawn Care on our email address. So it was Happy Lawn Care? Yeah, so could you open these? I want to check them out. Oh, okay. They're nice. Yellow and green. Oh, look at them. Let me check the boss. Make sure she has everything right, even though she said I checked it already. I think it's hard to check on a screen, and that's how I probably messed them up, but... Uh-oh, yours is wrong. What? It's supposed to say the boss, not Rachel. You scared me! <laughs> that, they're um... nice. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Now I just got to get used to handing them out. I, don't I think even I have our Facebook on. You know that. Right? I have our Facebook address on there. Like, you know, Happy's Lawn Care Asheville. Oh, that ain't bad. Had, no, not bad. I just needed because your one shirt has holes in it, so we this needed one? to. Yeah, look how faded they are. So I we we went with a different company, um, and the shirts just faded so quickly. So it says do not iron. What's that mean? I'm gonna burn up if I iron. No, because this will come off. It's just all it is is like. Um, it's not like screen printing. Oh, so that won't last that long. Yeah, no, it won't. They're That's really fine. just interim shirts. So we're looking for a company where we can get collared shirts, 
um, yes. embroidered, but we like the bright colors. I like the landscape in fancy clothes. It just looks professional because you are the boss going out there, the owner and operator, so. Yes, you have to look professional. Yeah. I wasn't even recording. Boss, you have to push record. You can't talk for five minutes and then... And then not push record? Yeah. I know. I mean, it's not like it preemptively records for you. Is that a <laughs> word? I think so. So, we have five yards of mulch on the trailer. And it's five o'clock. And How it's almost that? five o'clock. But at least if we can get some of this mulch done... We put the lawnmowers on it. Yeah. We have to be somewhat productive since we were rained out today. We have to figure out where we're going to park. So this is our mulch. It's going into this bed right here. And this bed. No. That's a beautiful mulch job right there. Oh, who did that, boss? I don't know. Who do you think did that? Who did such an awesome mulch job there? Who does awesome mulch jobs in Asheville? Happy's Lawn Care. Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping, buddy. We lay all our mulch down by hand, three to four inches thick. People might say that you're crazy for doing that. Nah, I take pride in my work. We do, and we don't get $30 a yard no. either. So I spade all my edges. Right, you spade them by hand. And re-edge re them and everything. So, And then if they want pruning and everything on top of that, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. But so far, we've got the last two or three, three not three estimates, right? Because we yeah. got the other mulch job too. So, but... We're doing pretty good to where we can actually see what the, I want to be on the higher end and the price is a little bit, you know. I'm mean, pretty disgusting. Why? Look. Ugh. What were you doing all day? We only <laughs> mowed three lawns and put down five yards of mulch. I was slacking today. And it rained. I mean, we didn't even work from, what, two o'clock to almost five o'clock? We were gallivanting around the neighborhood. Oh, we laid like almost five yards of mulch in two hours. Yeah, that ain't bad. No. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you another day. Sounds like plan.